Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rover YouTube channel. Today we are diving into a quick but powerful feature in MS Access based on another selection, like choosing a vehicle type and then seeing only the brands for that type. Before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe to Rover YouTube channel for more videos like this. Open Microsoft Access and create new database. Imagine you have a list of vehicles like cars and vans and each of these has variety of brands. What if you want to pick a vehicle type in one combo box and have another combo box for display? Only the brands for that type. That's well. Oh, that's what we'll set up today. So first of all, you need to create a table. This in here, you need to create a two tables to learn this process. Now I'm going to create my uh, tables. So go to create tab, then click on the table, click the save button, then save your table as TBL vehicle, TBL vehicles, then press OK button. So this is my first table, then I want to design the fields of my table, therefore go to the design view, then First field is vehicle ID. Vehicle ID here data type is number. So my second field is vehicle type. Data type is short text. Yes. Now I have two fields. I'm going to save my table, then go to data sheet view. Now my first table looks like this. Now I close this table, then I need to create another table. Then click on the create tab, then select table, then press save icon, then save your table as TBL brand. TBL brand. Then press OK button. Yes, now I have another table called TBL brand. Now I am going to design view. Right click and choose design view. Now my first field is brand ID. Vehicle type is number. Then my uh, second field is vehicle ID. This is the foreign key of my vehicle tables. Data type is number. The third field is brand name. Data type is short text. Yes, I designed my three fields. Now save the table and go to data sheet view. Now you have this kind of table. Now I am going to enter sample vehicle types. Just say vehicle ID is 1000, vehicle type is car. Then uh, vehicle ID is just say 2000, vehicle type is van. Then I want to create a relationship. To create a relationship, click on the database tools, click on the relationships. Then you need to add these two tables like this. Then the next thing you should do is so now let's link these tables we'll go to the relationships window now what you should do is break vehicle id from vehicles tbl vehicle to where vehicle id in brands like this then uh, you need to enforce differential integrity and uh, also you can enable these two combo boxes then this create button now save the relationship and close now again click the tbl vehicle now we have here now we have already entered vehicle type now i am going to enter vehicle brands to enter vehicle brands click on this plus mark now my first brand id is 100 just say brand name is Toyota. So the second brand is just say Aqua. Now I'm going to enter brands for my van. So the brand ID is 200. 
जैसे ब्रांड नेम इज के डी एच जैसे कन्वान इस्मान जैसे आगो नाउ आई हैव एंटर ब्रांड नेम फॉर बोथ व्हीकल्स एंड बोथ वे बोथ कार एंड वैंस बोथ कार्स एंड वैंस हाउ इट इट लुक्स लाइक दिस Now close, save and close your tables. Now, this is the this is our next step. Now, with our tables linked, let's create the form. We'll add two combo boxes, one for the vehicle type and another for brands. So, to create form, click on the create tab, then select blank form. Then press save button. Then you need you can save your form. F R M just save here. Now right click and select design view. Then you need to place two combo boxes. Click on the design tab and select combo box and drag your first combo box like this. Now rename this combo box as vehicle type. Then draw. Then drag another combo box. Then uh, rename this combo box as brand name. Now I want to give uh, names for my combo box. To give names, I click on the combo box and select properties. Then here, this is this combo box name is CBO vehicle type. Then the this combo box I am going to name as CBO. Brand. I need to uh, set row source for my first combo box. So select first combo box and go to data. So and under the row source, you need to uh, copy this term. Copy. You need to set the bound column to one and go to format. Here, you need to set. column count to 2 make it 2 then here what you should do is you need to set the column width to 0 2 cm the appropriate width hiding the vehicle id so what is the uh, column width 0 column 2 cm that's all now save the settings then You need to go and uh, just go to form view and see what happens. There was a small spelling mistake. Now I corrected. Now you can see my uh, combo box displays the vehicle type like that. Now uh, what you should do is you need to set a SQL statement for dependent query uh, to make the second combo box dependent on the first. We'll need to some simple VBA code in the after update event of the first combo box. So select the first combo box, right click, and select build event. After that, from this uh, dialog box, you need to select code builder, then press OK. So here you need to select after update event. Okay, after update. if you have a laptop update you need to add this code so this is the code you need to add so here it should be brand right so this is the code you need to add uh if you have a the first combo box after update event now save then go back to uh, ms access then go to form view now let's see what happen yes here you can select
कॉलम विद टू जैसे टू सॉरी जीरो टू सी एम then when you select car you have only car ta- car brand okay so if you select van what happens then you have only van types in combo box 2 now our work uh, now it works well for example in the first vehicle type combo box if you select car so in my second with the brand name combo box it shows only car brands if i select van the second vehicle type then it should it shows only uh, van types only so this is what we call cascade combo box or dependent combo box so you can create this kind of combo box for your access database easily so i think you got something from this video or a tutorial so if you need any explanation please put a comment under video comment section please subscribe our youtube channel for more videos like this one thank you very much